Hey everybody, it's Pyro Penny, and what you're looking at are my gorgeous knees right there. Thought I'd treat you to something a little bit special today. <laughs> what I'm actually doing is I'm I'm test driving a new stilt costume idea, really. Um, I thought I'd get well. I'll show you in a minute, but I also thought I would show. So I'm working with one Dura stilt, one plaster sort of stilt, which is fully covered. And then I thought for a laugh I'd try a peg, <laughs> my peg still on the other leg. Um, so, and I've come here to my beautiful practice space with ceilings so high I can't even reach them in stilts to see what it looks like. Um, so one, can I walk on two different stilts at the same time? And you'll see why I wanted a peg leg in a minute. And I'd just like to illustrate the problem that many stilt walkers have when they're trying on costumes and stuff. So let's, let's go and have a walk. This is all from a stilt walker's point of view, so enjoy being tall. But when you're trying to work out, does a costume look good? This is the problem you have. So you've got these lovely mirrors. They're quite big, aren't they? They're about, I don't know, seven foot tall. Here I am trying to figure out, do I look all right? Can you, can you see the problem? I can't, I can't even... Yeah, so what I have to do is basically get all the way back here. And I'm still not in. <sighs> but this is what I look like up close. So I'm walking fine. Balance isn't really too much of an issue. Ooh. So this is sort of, um, and if I cotch down, I'm a pirate. Oh, land lobbing pirate, and you've got my peg legs gone. With a peg leg! Check that out. Miss Peggy, Peggy legs. <laughs> um, and I'm going to show you in a second. This costume does get better, by the way. Um, but I'll show you that in just a second. So problems stilt walkers have. Finding a mirror that's big enough to see if you look all right in costume. Circus problems, man.